Okay, here's a little quick little rundown on how to use your Trail Tech Voyager for navigating a track, specifically at the King of the Motos. Now, what you're seeing here is the Voyager on its main screen, and it's really easy to use, and all you have to do is use the toggle button to get down to the map page. So that's just one toggle down. And the map page is the one that you would be following all the time. And if you look at it, we have a track that's already been programmed into the unit, and it's been loaded up as a route. So it appears gray as opposed to black. Usually when you're riding, you leave a black line, which is a track. We imported the track as a route so that it's you can differentiate between the two. Now the important thing to remember, and what a lot of guys don't understand, is how the scaling will help you make it so you can navigate easier. When you're going fast, you want your scaling zoomed out. When you're going slow, you would want it zoomed in. That can be accomplished with one little toggle like that. And you can see how the track that I want to follow basically disappears when I go between 3,500 feet and 500 feet. So the 500 feet would be when you're going really slow, you're trying to follow and stay exactly on the line. That's around, you know, if you're going anywhere from zero to about 10, 15 miles an hour, a 500 foot line, you know, scaling is fine. You can keep yourself right on top of it. 3,500 feet is when you're going fast, 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. That way you can see where there's turns and you can anticipate them. They don't just go right across the top of the screen. Now, it's kind of it's kind of personal preference on the exact exact scaling that you would want and that's really easy to change too so if like during the race actually what you should do is probably practice this beforehand and find out what scaling you like and then it's easy to change all you have to do is push the return button once and that zoom comes up and then I can toggle it down see I go out to three miles zoom in and watch as I start getting closer you'll see the tracks start to appear you know, and I'm down to 100 feet, which is way too zoomed in for actual riding. I mean, the most I've ever used really is like 250 feet when it's really hard to find a track, you know, between rocks or between trees or something, and you want to stay in the ideal line. 500 to 750 feet are the two lower end zooms I would recommend using during King of the Motos. And then on the faster stuff, between 3,000 and 3,500 feet. So once you set your zoom, you can hit the back button, and it puts you back at the screen. And then you're able to basically toggle and see now both of mine are set the same. But it's like, I don't want that. I want this one to be at 35. So I go like this, scale it back out, 3,000, that's where I want, hit return, and then I'm ready to follow it. Again, notice how they can't see the track right now because if I were going fast, I would want to know about the turn that's a long ways up. But I'm going to be going slow. I toggle it, and it's like, oh, I've got to make a left-hand turn coming right up here. So... In, a, in very simply, that's how this thing would work. You don't really need any other screens. And if you ever start running into problems, you get in a weird screen, you don't know where you're at, all you have to do is hit back, back twice, down once, and you're there. So it's pretty simple to do. Just follow the cookie crumb, get to the finish. See ya.